Hello. Um, I just want to give you an update on the germination. It's been seven days exactly, and we have a couple of leaves coming out now. The tomatoes have gone to their first two leaves, and as the kale, um, and we have something that's going to help them along. Yeah, check it out. Cool. Now, as you just saw in the time lapse, the Nelson lead number one has done pretty well. The plants have been nice and warm, but the snow has gone here in southern Sweden. And uh, it's warmed up a little bit. And as it does that, the heating adjusts and the temperature fluctuates a bit. So I just want to have something to keep that a little bit more stable and to help the germination process along. We have these warm mats, also from Nelson Garden. They are 20 watts, um, IP64. And they are 530 mil by 220. And I'm just gonna plug that in, put it underneath our tray here. And it's gonna give them a little bit more warmth. The pepper still hasn't come up yet to produce his first couple of leaves. So maybe needs a bit of help. Comes in a roll like this. So. Yeah, I'm gonna put it underneath and um, turn it on. All right. Just wanted to give you a quick look at these before I put the uh, heat mat underneath. Got salad at the back there. Tomato, all three of the Tiger cherries have germinated. His little friend's coming at the bottom there. The pepper still hasn't done anything, but he's coming soon. I can see the seed in there. The purple basil at the back there is gorgeous looking. And tomatoes at the back, and that's a kale at the back there. Two out of three seeds have come up. Yeah, cool. Let's put them out underneath, help them along. Move them carefully over there. Good size cable on this as well, 155 I think it is centimeters. You've got plenty of options. And as I said, it's IP64 this, so if some water does go onto it, it's not going to be a problem. Hmm. It's been in a roll for quite some time. Just have to massage it a bit. I'm going to try and put the seeds back on top now. I can already feel it getting warm. I've plugged it in already. That's going to be fantastic. It's actually a great size. I thought it would be a bit small, but it's perfect for this tray. Turn the lid back on. And that's it. So the heat mat is underneath the tray now. And I was just thinking to myself, how am I gonna know how hot it is in there? And of course, we have just been testing a few bits and pieces. We've got a few other videos coming out soon. And um, we have Needis Smart Life sensors and um, smart plugs and smart adapters and extension sockets and uh, power monitors, etc. And one of the little bits of kit is a temperature and, temperature and humidity sensor. And you see it? Let it focus. Yeah. 
So I'm going to take this little guy and put it inside the tray and um, we'll check out the graph and see how the temperature goes. I uh, hope it's going to be in the 20s somewhere. It might be a bit hot, but we'll have to have a look. All right, let's put it in. Okay, so um, I guess I can just put this with his um, little grill at the top there. I'll just set him in a little square like that. I'll give a good idea of the temperature that's inside the tray. And hopefully our little pepper will show his head at some point. Let's go down here, temperature and humidity. Open that up and we can see straight away that spike there as it's risen right up. 20.8 is really nice for these little seeds. It's going to help them along quite nicely. It'll also mean that we'll have to keep an eye on the water a little more carefully. Um, I've been checking every few days and the rock wall is still nice and moist, so I haven't needed to put much water in. But now we have an extra bit of temperature. Oh, look at that. It's just gone up to bite up to 23.4. I do hope that doesn't get much higher. Um, we'll come back and have a look a bit later. Humidity dipped right down. But as I say, we'll have to put a bit more water in now that we have extra heat in there. Great, so the heat mat is underneath the seeds here beside me. Um, that should help them along, keep them, um, if anything, it will give them a more stable temperature. And uh, I'll check back again in, in a couple of days. Yeah, and hopefully we'll be able to transfer them at some point in the next couple of weeks. All right, see you then, bye.